got a great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors. That's right, folks, you are going to want to watch this video. It is awesome. We take the 2023 Travato and we compare both floor plans, the 59K versus the 59GL. And guess what? We're going to show you both of them. But not only that, we've got something cool to show you. We've got the GL with the 22 chassis along with the 23 build out. Then we have the brand new 23 chassis on the 23 build out in the 59K model. And we're gonna walk through both of those. Obviously the GL has the lithium package, the K does not. We've got red, we've got white, we've got all the comparisons for you. You're gonna love this video. There's a reason why the Travato is the number one selling camper van class B RV in North America. And we're gonna walk you through these camper vans and show you all the features and benefits. We've got Nick from Sunshine State RV and the Queen of RVs, Aliche, who uh, just loves both of these models. And we're gonna show you everything you wanna see for these brand new 2023. So let's get started with Nick and Aliche. Here we are with the king of class B's, Nick, and the queen of class B's, Aliche from Italy. And she grew up RVing and loves this camper van lifestyle so much i can't get her into the uh, resorts or the hotels she just wants to hang out in the camper van loves that freedom and nick is all about selling these things and today we got a special video for you folks we're going to go quickly through two different that's right travados you're going to love this because we've got the older chassis the new chassis both 2023 so you see the upgrades there and uh, Nick's got two different floor plans. So take it away, Nick. Show, tell everybody what we got here. Yes, my name's Nick with Sunshine State RVs. We're in Gainesville, Florida. It is a little chilly today. I got long sleeves on, but still wearing shorts. Yeah. But it is a little chilly today. <laughs> we only sell Class B RVs. So when Tommy and Alicia came by, you know, started talking about you guys as coachmen. And today we're actually doing a lithium swap for them. So pretty exciting. Check but out all, that video, right, Alicia? Oh, yeah. Like right it. there. But all right. All we do here are Class B. So... So I take advantage of, of Tommy's great YouTube channel every time he's here, and then we do one of these awesome videos. But yeah, so we, we have today, we have two of them, a 2023 Winnebago Travato K and a 2023 Winnebago Travato G. Okay. You may say, hey, they look very different, right? So this is the thing. Let's let's show some of the, the front ends and the differences. Yeah. So this is the 23, and this is actually on the 23 chassis. So this is the brand new, ProMaster chassis has the new front end, the new lights, the new grill, the new, the whole new redesigned front end of the ProMaster. So the 22 chassis, they made a lot of interior upgrades. The 23 chassis, they made the interior and exterior upgrades. Okay. So very neat. These are the high performance uh, LED headlights. So, so very nice there. Um, also, they've redesigned this grill some. Um, give me a nice little swoop right there. You see that, Tommy? That yeah, nice it's real swoop nice. Right there? Yeah, they did an amazing job on this because some people, you know, used to talk about the design and look. Well, they've really upgraded yeah. it. Yes. I mean, this is sharp now. It looks, it's a long time coming. I mean, yeah. they've been making that chassis since 2015. Yeah. Oh, like wow. that. They so, needed some upgrade for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but this new one looks gorgeous, especially the white. I mean, well, I'm... It's very aggressive. Look. Yeah, it's yeah. super, yeah. super nice. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> so then here... This is the K model, this is the G. So you see it has the same front end that, that they usually have. This is a 2022 chassis. The way class B's do it is the chassis is typically one year and the RV is another year. So, so uh, Winnebago will buy the chassis in 2022 from ProMaster. They'll upfit it, convert it, turn it into a nice, beautiful RV, and then we'll sell it as a 2023. So that's a very common practice yeah. in the RV industry. Um, but this one here is a 23 chassis with a 23 RV. This is a 22 chassis and a 23 RV. Does that make sense? Makes sense. Makes sense. Got it? Sense. All right. Yep. Let's so do it. The bigger thing is this is a G, yep. the 59G, and this is the 59K. So the G and the K, 
I want to hear what, what people think. I mean, I know you like hearing from people, don't you, Thomas? Absolutely. Definitely comment down below because we're going to show you the difference. They're both Travados. Yeah. Both 23s, yep. but you're gonna see the different layout. Comment down below what you think, what layout you like best and why, and tell us what you think of these Winnebago's. You know, about five minutes ago, um, she asked me a question. What was the question? Which was your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question everybody asked. Yeah. Everybody asked you guys. Yeah. Everybody asked me. Everybody, what is your favorite? What is your favorite? So the conversation I had with Tommy was I have four kids. Yep. 18, 16, 13, and 12. My family won't fit in any of these. <laughs> so none of these are my favorite. But depending on how you are going to use it versus whoever's watching this, how you're going to use it, that becomes the right RV for you. And, and I tell people this all the time. Price doesn't matter. Who, where? And none of that. What matters is how are you going to use the RV? What are you going to use it for? And does it fit that lifestyle? Because the G fits a lot of people's lifestyle. Uh, people that work from home. People that, that are commuters. People that have kids. People that that need more than two seat belts, or the K has twin beds in it. So this is the G, without further ado, let's let's kind of show them yep. the 59G. The G is a very unique floor plan, okay. very unique. This is the one of the most unique floor plans out there are nobody else, Tommy, in the class B industry yeah. makes this floor plan. Wow, that's Other cool. Other people make the K, okay. everybody makes the K. Nobody else makes this G. This, this is unique to wow. Winnebago. Why? I don't know. All right. No idea. But I but, like it. Well, this is going to be exciting. So we'll get to check it out and go from there. And by the way, if you do have the family and you're interested in the Class B, we just did a video with Nick oh, on yeah. the road track with the lithium right there. Check oh, yeah, out the, that the video. Zion yeah, the yeah, Slumber yeah. Zion. We just did that video. Super cool oh, for 2023. Oh, okay. And you can sleep up to five with the lithium like yes. and the pop up. Yeah, so. I did. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's so, check yeah. this out. So this wow, is, look this, at this right this off the bat. 59G, right off the bat. What do you notice? Yep. That we have a dining area. You have a dining Set area. Set up like nice, nice, and the best amazing part of it, you can keep it up even when you're driving. Yes, so, you can. You wow. can. So, so right now, both those seats are swiveled. They don't have to be swiveled, but they are. And this dining area, this is a lagoon table. So this thing can move and swivel any which way you want it. What else is really cool is there's room right there for another, another. lagoon table. So you can wow. put another table right there. So that way you can have two different lagoon tables mounted here. So what people use this for. So are you guys familiar with Scott Watson from Go Small, Live Large? Yeah, He's a, yeah. So yeah. he lives full time yeah. in a Travato G. This is what he has. And if you ask him why, he says because he likes to work from here. He likes to eat here and he likes to sleep back there. Yeah. yeah. So you have your your yeah, exactly. different areas that are in it. So what's unique? Unique. Three point seat belts with anchors for oh no, maybe not. I thought they had anchors for, for child. What's unique? What's unique about this? Well, three you point can seat, seat belts. There and travel. So two, you have a space for two people. Two in people the back. to sit in a real comfortable seat. Yeah. They have a window. They got charging ports. They have a table, everything they need right there. So let's say you have two kids, oh, yeah. and you got two people. You're 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 all set for you're four all people set here. Set for four people. But there is another great reason. What's that? If you have a YouTube channel, you can work from here while your wife is driving. Yeah. Right? <laughs> there you go. Are you the driver in the family? Yes. Are you the driver. Yeah. Are you the worker. That's it. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's all good. Right. So you know something Winnebago does is they give you a smart TV. They give you a Bluetooth sound bar, so people like oh, to have wow. music in their coach. So, so this has music in it. This has uh, the smart TV. You have internet hookups. So, you know something else they do that's really nice is right up here they give you a a, a, a USB port that is connected to the TV. So, if you have an Apple TV, if you have a laptop, whatever you want to do, you have the port here to yeah, do it. You got the HDMI there. That's what we've nice. also done this is a roof access port. So, there's already a hole drilled right here to where we can put antennas on the roof and we can put a 5g wireless internet router wow. in here and we've Very done that nice. quite a bit for people as well so this is nice how they they you know winnebago one thing they do is is they they really think about how are you going to use the rv how what are the different possibilities and different things you're going to do and they they do a good job of thinking through that so as we walk into the kitchen area um, this is the, actually, this is the GL. So this has the lithium. Okay. So the lithium has a screen for the battery. It has a one press button system. So you press the button, everything turns on. Tons, tons of lithium. 
um, capability. And this, you know, people always say this is bright, so this little thing covers it. Wow. wow. Fancy, huh? We need yeah. one of those. Yeah, we put the stuff on. <laughs> right. right. And this is cool because it's yeah. uh, magnets that are built into there. It yeah. just kind of sticks there and it just covers it. Wow, that's super yeah. cool. And then you've got the rest of the control system up here. The rest on of the, the controls, top. the Truma system, the inverter, solar panels, water pump, all that good stuff there. Okay. Um, as as we go a little more in the back, you have your little pantry. You have your large Norcold fridge. Wow, very nice. Wow, so the fridge is nice. These fridges are big and very energy. Um, what do you call it? They don't use a lot efficient. of energy. They're efficient. Ener They're efficient. That's very the word. efficient. Energy efficient. So it helps with the uh, capacity of the lithium battery. This is a regular microwave. Um, and then, if you notice in the back, so a couple cool things about this. Right yeah. now, this bed is down. So if you want to get in the bed, you just kind of climb in it, and you're in it, right? So yeah. it's a, bed, a bed for two. You're back here. But then, what's really oh, neat. Oh, you have also a little ladder here, right, if you need help. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I guess. That. But what's yeah. really neat is when you're not in the bed, you can fold it up and totally get it out of the way. 100% yeah. remove the bed, and it gives you lots of access back here. Yeah, that's so super cool. People really like that. So let's jump off and let's show them how this works. How this works. So the first step is you fold the bed. Second step is you try to do that. Well, let's see here. I just, oh. There we go. There. Got that. There. So let's move this down a little bit. We got to lift this up on the side. Yeah. Very cool. There we go. That pops Perfect. right so up. Now it straps up. Now it's totally out of the way. And you have a full walkway back here. Wow. And Lots now you've got storage. What do we got for storage down here? So you got a big cabinet there. You got a drawer there. A drawer here. Big drawer yeah. there. Very cool. Another drawer here. You got these little packs there. You can put all those kinds of cool all stuff in. in. That's nice. These are all for all your shoes. And then you've yeah, got the little so reading no, light no. over here. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Light. So when you're in bed, you do have a light. There's chargers, there's little compartments. Oh, well, this comes standard? Or do you guys does. put this? Oh, no kidding. We put those in ours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come standard with the Winnebago. Those are nice. They just flip down. You can and put you your do. glasses in there and everything else. They put their books in there. They put their iPads, yeah. Kindles, whatever you yeah, use. Those are but, a big plus. But what I like is how open this is. So you come in, in and out of the RV, you throw a bike in here. Yeah. You throw exactly. e luggage, equipment, material, whatever you're using. You throw it in and out of the RV. The bed is totally out of the way. You, your your mattress is in there. Your uh, your pillows, your comforters, your blankets, yeah. CPAP yeah. machines, whatever you need is Super all cool. all put away. And this is just wide open right here. So yeah, and you can check out gadgets in sixty. We've actually show you the uh, link for that on Amazon, so you can check that out. Nice, it's pretty co cool for almost any class B. You can put those in. Then you have your full size bathroom wow. with a sink. A little mirror, a shower. I love it. They take with a radio, like a yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. That is yeah. really nice and sharp looking. They did a nice look, like the little boat action there. It's yeah. really nice the way it's laid out. Yeah. Go ahead, jump in there, Aliche. Do the. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. I was doing it. Oh, wrong. that's a nice look too. Isn't that cool? Bye, yeah. everyone. Look at that. <laughs> so very nice very fit nice. and finish there. It's, it's a like nice old, uh, Yeah, it looks aluminum. Yeah, but look, they put also a little mirror here. Got the mirror. Safety. Very nice. Yeah. Go ahead and test that out. See how uh, how much room you got there. Good. Enough to dance. Enough so to dance. Nice. Good. Yeah. <laughs> got a little vent action there. That's yeah. cool. So you have a little light and a little compartment change. in the back too. Yeah. Oh, let's check out. Oh, it's very spacious. It's yeah. nice. <laughs> Very, very, very good. good. Wow, that's nice. And then they also put on the little extra spice rack there, your outlets. You know, something that's... Induction cooktop. Something that's pretty neat, Tommy, is this Eco Hot. So so, what, so what's cool is, instead of having to run your hot water... So I got four kids. So I go tell my kids to take a shower. Right. You know what they do? They turn the hot water on, they just let it sit there for 10 minutes because it's getting hot the whole time. I'm like, guys, it's been hot for eight and a half minutes. Go take a stinking shower, right? Right. They don't care about that. I would do they the don't same care thing. About that. Oh, I'm sure you would. I they usually don't care like turn it on about and then I wait to 20 minutes. Right. It's just <laughs> you want to get hot and yeah. see. So, what they do here is they have a preheat. So, if you want to use it, just put it to preheat and then wow. it starts preheating the water. So, that way, when you when go you to do. turn it on, you don't waste any water, you don't waste any energy, you don't waste anything. It, it just starts preheating it yeah. already. 
Yeah. Wow, so very cool. I need that at my house for my kids. Yes. Oh, and stuff. then when you do, and I'm going to do it at our house too. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, so you got drawers, you got everything. So as you walk out, um, what's what's really neat about this back here is is the access. Yeah. So so this is what people love. They love being able to get that bed out of the way and have that full access. So I like that. Yeah. So I mean, you guys have seen a hundred class BRBs. Have you seen anything like this? No, this is unique. It's, it's a unique, definitely right? a different design for sure. I, that was and it's like, kind of like a little toy hauler, right? So yeah. so the bottom line is is you can throw in your e-bikes here, scooters like yeah. we we've got uh, the e-scooters. All kinds of kayaks you can throw in there. Yep. Just pull them out when you get there. Drop your bed down. You're good to go. Yeah, and if you have like a e-bikes with they are shorter than this, you can just put your bed on it and you're good. Yep. Yeah, very so cool. People put litter boxes under there so when they're sleeping, they have their dogs sleep in the bed or underneath. Um, I don't know if you can put a kid under there. I don't, yeah, know. I don't know. I, would not I haven't do experimented that. with that. So nice hitch so. <laughs> here. Good. I'm not experimenting. Got the towing capacity on there. Yeah. That's cool. They have the water inside the coach. Yeah, show us what we got course. here. So yeah, it's so the hot and cold water fill. And they do that for winterization to keep all of the water components inside the RV. Mm -hmm. um, you do still need to winterize it, but uh, but they keep it in the coach to kind of keep it out of the elements. You know, their goal is to really give you a, a true Four Seasons coach. That little um, zip up here. Yeah, so, so these are neat. You know, one thing that I really like is not having to store things. Yeah. Right? Storage is such so limited and at a premium in these Class Bs. So what's nice is when things are built in that you can use. So... So if you want sun, you pull it down. When you don't want sun, you lift it up. And it's all built into the RV there. So very yeah, cool. Very really nice. nice not having the store. There is a screen back here that rolls down that that if you do want to leave this open and you're here in Florida and the mosquitoes are that big. Yeah. As big you as your hand, you need that screen. You really you need, need it. Now what's going on back up there? The uh, saucer. Yeah, that is a, a digital antenna for the TV. So that way ah, you can get digital channels. Very awesome. cool. Yeah, yeah, it's neat. So like I said, the G is a really neat floor plan. Wide open in the back. Front has four seat belts. Both those seats swivel. And, and people really like this 20 foot RV. Now the K, which is the one next to it. Yeah. It's counterpart. Okay. Is, is equally as nice because Winnebago makes it, and Winnebago makes some nice RVs. And then um, just real quickly here, we've oh, got the outlets. Yes. And outlets. Uh, real nice for when you want to, yeah, you have your little kitchen Same set up. There, cable hookup, okay. and this is a solar extender there. That's a so solar extender, solar very cool. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, don't forget Rocky and Bullwinkle. No, no. There we go, <laughs> let's grab those two. We are coming with us, we change home. Yeah. <laughs> so, Shavado G. This is the deep cherry red. By the way, what do you think about this color? You like it? Yeah, it's unique. I like I like the white highlights on the yeah. panel. It's pretty sharp. It yeah. lightens it up just so, nice. I am personally an AC Milan fan mm -hmm. for soccer, and the red and black is the color. So and there you I go. Have it in my heart. So here in here, here in Gainesville, we're Florida Gator fans, and red and black are the Georgia Bulldogs. Oh, we do not like the yeah. Georgia Bulldogs. So okay. red right. and black to us. So how do you say dog in Italian, Alice? Cani. Cani. cani for plural, cane for singular. Okay, there's so your Italian word of the day. Cani. It's another reason to watch our channel. You learn Italian word, word by word. Right. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. Definitely comment down below. And also check out our other videos on Class B's. We've got all kinds of great ones. You're going to love this channel. How to have fun outdoors. Subscribe, like, share with your friends. Tell everybody about it. And it's not just camper vans. We do cruise videos, travel all over the world from Madagascar to Turkey to Iceland. You're going to want to subscribe. This isn't your normal RV channel. We do it all. And next week we're going to the Super RV Show in Tampa. We're going to have a lot of great stuff for you there but ladies and gentlemen let's get back to these travados all right so, so now we're pro master same size same height same width same length a little different front end uh we'll get into some more of the interior changes that pro master this one but this is the travado k right so very different um you walk in to a wide open area here. You can tell this one's mainly made for two people where, where the G had the access to really be made for four people. So 
as we walk in. Big opening here. I mean, this up. is one of the widest openings I've seen it on a Class B. It feels really wide. Wow. Really open. Yep. And, and what's nice is that everything, I mean, if you look at it, everything is open. Nice big window. It kind of, it's kind of like the Novo rear bath that we did last yeah. time. Yeah. It, it kind of has it that has same, the same feeling. Yes. open feel to it. Um, so, so what's cool is on this one here let me jump up here and show you yeah let's take a look at this brand new chassis so this is the 2023 chassis this has the new front end this has the new digital uh odometer speedometer uh instrument cluster it has the new steering wheel handbrake uh shifter knobs all this is redesigned cell phone charging port right here so you just kind of wow, put it there that's really slick and it, and it, and it charges automatically cup holders down here multiple wow. cup holders keys so you so you put the keys in your pocket push button start right here um usb and usc ports and what people really like is the 10 inch navigation screen so this is an apple carplay android carplay 10 inch navigation you can, you can download different apps on here if you wanted alexa and you know different um different ones and then and then you have navigation built in or you can have it through the carplay satellite radio all that um, this is also pretty neat in the Pro Master. This is a digital rear view mirror. Yep. If you don't like it, you just have a normal rear view mirror. But the digital gives you, you know, you can you can uh, change it and you can see different, different ver you know, in the back, you can move it down so you can see, move it up. So really, really cool thing there. Um, and what's crazy about this is we have a Grand Wagoneer, brand new one. Uh -huh. They're $110,000. Uh -huh. These are the same exact app feature interface, yeah. digital. Uh, it's it's all the same stuff. So oh, it's Pro pretty Master. pretty awesome that yeah. these guys have put this into the ProMaster. And, and you've got a full digital display up there also, yes. right? Yes. I mean, that's... That's, that's impressive nice. for that is uh, nice. a van. You know, back back probably 10 years ago, Tommy, RV RVs were just made in cargo vans. Yeah. And cargo vans were always crappy, right? Yeah. So they're uncomfortable, clunky, no real power windows, no power locks, no none right. of these creature comforts oh. that your Wagoneer or your Mercedes or your nice high-end car would have. Right. And so people will go from their nice high-end luxury comfortable car to their very uncomfortable crappy cargo van that had a nice RV in it. Now they're upgrading all all of these vans to make them just as comfortable as your car a mercedes ford transit pro master i mean pro master has a nine speed transmission now wow oh it's so comfortable oh, i mean like the steering it has blind spot assist crosswind detection all kinds of great safety features on these on these class B's yeah now. it's great to yeah. uh, see american companies investing in this and really upgrading it they've done a great yes. job yeah. look at there there goes uh, that Sunshine State so, RV. Take a look at that. That's, that's how we pick up RVs. See, we you timed know, that perfectly. We told them to drive that by halfway you know, Tommy, through the video. I, something unique about us is we don't drive any of our RVs here from the manufacturers. We have our trucks go pick them up and ship them. So every RV we sell has 20 miles on it, 30 miles, like brand spanking. That not is fantastic. Thousands of miles like most, most other dealerships. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's neat. super cool. So as we walk in the back of the K, yep. do you remember we were just in the G? Yep. Do you remember what the G looked like and oh, felt yeah, like? Very yep. much. Now we're in a K and it has a totally different feel, totally totally different different openness. And both, both Travados, right? So, I mean, they're both, both, both Travados with Travados. two different floor plans that are so unique. Yes, yep. I, I will say the K is is their top seller. So they sell more of these. Okay. Um, this this appeals to a a crowd usually that has two. Let me let me squeeze by here. Yeah. Two people that RV and two people that use it. Um, so it is wide open. Excuse me. Which one's Rocky and which one's Bullwinkle? Uh, Rocky. He's Ro in Rocky's a little one. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's not really Bullwinkle. Yeah. It's Gypsy. No. It's Gypsy. It's Gypsy because she travels with the man. So ah, she's a Gypsy. She's a Gypsy. Yeah, she travels with the man. Older. Let's see if I can tell by looking at them. There yeah, you go. Shouldn't. This one. No. This one. Yeah. Super <laughs> Sanchez. All right. How much he's older? Almost, he's almost twelve years old in wow. February. And uh, the 18th of January, she turned two years old. Oh my goodness, I was way off. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I know, but she is way bigger because uh, she's a silky terrier. This is where the dog lovers are. This is where the dog lovers are commenting down below. I love Yorkies, yeah. and then the other people are like, "Get on with the van yeah, tour." You're right, so. you're right, you're right. But look at this kitchen. Let's look at this. Yeah, I mean, so, that's so a big deep kitchen there. Big deep, wide open. Oh. 
a lot of people who, you know. Wow. So there's, so there's two different types of people, Tommy. There's people that are never, ever going to going to crack open that stove in an RV. Yeah. They're never going to cook anything ever, no matter what. I can what. cook any kind. Then there's other people that love cooking in their RV, and they would rather cook, and they like the challenge of cooking in the RV. So, the person that likes that loves a convection microwave. There you they go, Lee love Another the convection. They love the white. You know what else they love? They yeah. love having the window oh, right yeah. here. Yeah. And they love being able to pop this open and have some fresh air and... And pasta food. And pasta food if you wanted. Yeah. Or we just have the fresh air. So when you're cooking, yeah. When you're cooking, that is nice. The stuff is going and out. That's what you grew old. up with, right? That was yeah. how your motor home was, and that's you know one of the other videos we yeah. did yeah. Uh, had that same setup. So What's, that's a really nice yeah. feature. The easy kitchen is phenomenal. Yeah. Like what I love, I, I agree with you. How spacious, way more spacious it is. The fact that you have a two burners and not only one makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. and what people really like is is having the space yeah. to do it um and there is another way there's a way to have an extra countertop right here i just gotta swivel this around and i can show you how that looks which is wow. really neat but then when you're cooking and doing things you have the window you have the you have the big sink that you can fit things in you know i always use this as kind of my prop so you can fit a plate in this big you can wash it a pan that's this big you can maneuver it around you can do all different types of stuff in this sink because yeah this this faucet is up high so people really like the uh the access yeah. of of doing that and, and you still and have the space here you know you to actually put the stuff and you just do? yeah yeah really nice and then you so, got more drawers down here drawers. for all your plates and different Oh, look at nice. that this one is cool too wow that's nice yeah, nice bit. they oh, take every space possible they take advantage of everything don't yeah, they? yeah. Oh, that's very cool they do check this out this is a little hidden gem whoa look at that huh that's pretty the, cool instapot or the air fryer mm. or whatever that's it is. a nice feature there's, there's also one behind we you should have you put oh, one of those in ours thing. look at that Tommy. And that's the, and that's more for when you're sitting there as a desk. And it's around the living room. Wow! Well, you Look can also at that. Outside. That is nice. Yeah, that's a really cool feature for sure. And these so, seats are nice too. They've done a nice job with that. I mean, they feel the great. leather. This is the uh, cat skin leather. So check that out. Wow! Oh, so yeah. now you have wow, a little look extra. At this. I'm the queen of the kitchen. You are the queen of the, the kitchen. kitchen. Yeah. yeah. The kitchen queen, or I can set up a little table here. He eat. Exactly. Yeah. Do you like Very the food? nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Pasta, rigatoni, you name it. A good risotto. What exactly. do you think about it? So this here, you can move that that uh, lagoon table. We put it right here, and you can have a wide open, wide area right here for using the RV. So, a couple different scenarios. People always ask me, man, well, who's going to use it? What do they use it for? So. Two people sleeping back there, right? Me yep. and my wife go to bed. I wake up at least an hour earlier than my wife. So I would get up if I was in this RV. I'd make my coffee. I'd sit right here. I'd read the paper, read my book. Outside. I, watch uh, how to have fun outdoors on watch YouTube. Watch how to have fun outdoors on YouTube. <laughs> and and I would let her sleep, and I would still hang out if I couldn't go outside for whatever reason. Honestly, your first choice when you're in a little RV is to be outside. Exactly. It's having fun outdoors. But your second choice is hanging out in this separate area with all separate stuff. So I'm not interrupting. I'm not waking yeah. her up. Yeah. Letting her sleep and coming up here. So nice, nice division, I think. I, I, I agree think with you. A nice, nice yeah. divide between the two. You need the different areas. Yeah. I, I agree with you 100%. So what do we got for AC? We got a nice fan so, here. So the the G model that we just looked at is, yeah. is the lithium model. Okay. Um, and they make it, the GL is G with lithium, or okay. the G is just the G with the generator. This is a K. Mm -hmm. And they also make a KL L. with lithium. Okay. So this does not have lithium. This has the the ultra quiet, the same generator you guys have, okay. the quiet Onan generator. Which um, is an excellent generator, oh, by the way. Uh, it's we, an excellent generator. We didn't have any issue whatsoever. Yeah. It's quiet wherever you are. If you just turn it on, nobody can really complain. And we even it. met with the manufacturer on that. And they them themselves said that was a clean sheet design, start to finish. And yeah. they feel it's the best you know, generator 100%. they manufacture. 100%. So it is, it's a great I generator. I agree. I always tell a story. Yeah. The first time we got one of the real quiet ones in, my technician started up and they thought there was an issue that it wasn't putting out power because it was so quiet. It sounded <laughs> like it was barely running. And so they ended up it. testing everything. They're like, 
how's this thing? And I talked, oh, that's one of the new quiet generators. Right, right. And so, and so they were just shocked at how quiet it was. Yeah. Without, without, with still putting out the same power, just being that quiet. Yeah. So, really cool. The, so the power in this is an AGM battery and the Onan generator. There okay. are solar panels on the roof. There is a Coleman mock air conditioner. Oliche, show them where they can get that video. Over right here. Right over here. Oh, oh right there. Over here. Now it's over there. Oh. So. We're, oh, we can make it over there. Oh, make it over there. There we go. <laughs> we're putting it anywhere. But in any case, uh, we're upgrading our AGM to lithium and keeping the generator so it's the best of both worlds. So you could do the Tommy, same I agree 100% with, with you. That is the best of both worlds, to have both a lithium system and a generator so you have redundancy, backup, everything. And, and uh, if you want to upgrade your RV, contact Nick. Right, right there, <laughs> Sunshine State. Yes, so let's you. keep going. So still we have the same water system here. Same so eco-hot. So if you want to eco -hot. It, super cool. On, I like it, that feature. Let it run and then just pop it on hot and you just get a little cup and then turn it right off and it conserves water, conserves energy, conserves everything. Um, this is a lagoon table. There are lots of different things. Come here, you want to get on the table? Yeah. Oh, yes, look at that. Well, you can go after the dog Oh. You want to dance? No. no. Oh, Rock's no, doing man. good. Oh. Over 12 years old. He's doing good. Yeah, he got excited. Got a little sound bar, TV, so, table. So, smart TV, sound bar. Same thing as the other coach. You have, you have your HDMI cables. You can plug anything you want. You have a roof access port here, so you can put a 5G internet router in here. You got plugs, USB ports. Everything you can imagine, all right here, and I like how they keep it all together. Yeah, you know, yeah that's so nice. You know where everything is. Um, something that at Sunshine State RVs, what when I order every one of our RVs, I order these these windows. So these are awning style. I know we showed yeah. it in the kitchen over there. These are awning style windows. If you don't order these, you get a normal sliding window. Um, which I think this is far superior. It's far, far. superior also because you get way more hair. Way more and hair? And one of the things you air, 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 air. air. Oh, come on. <laughs> How do you say air in Italian? Aria. Aria. Okay, Aria. there you go. A-I-R-E. A-R-I-E. -E. Ah, nice. oh, there you go. So Two if, Italian words on this yeah. video. Pretty hey, good. Hey, what a big deal. Yeah. So if, so if you don't get it, you end up getting a sliding window like this. So this has to be sliding yeah. so that way the door doesn't hit it. Um, I think this this is yeah. so much better. Yeah, yeah you get so much more air, so, so much more light. Yeah, a lot more ventilation our, with this. Yeah, this, uh, in our uh, camper van when I was uh, growing up, we had the four of these big ones. Yeah, and we kept them open on the side. Uh, you were always uh, air. Yeah, it's Aria. Nice. <laughs> going through one side to the next, and it was so fresh. It was yeah. almost going being out, outdoors. Yeah, yeah that's, no, I mean, that's with this a big open, plus. You can even feel a big difference. You know, if I stand right here with this open, I can definitely feel the air flowing through the coach. Yeah. Yep. You turn the heater on. Them. Yeah, look at this. Look at oh, no, oh. she's fine, but he's. You know, they. Every time he's on everybody the teases us. Nice. Everybody teases us for living in New Hampshire and how cold it is. We come down the floor. This is the second year in a row. We come down here. It was forty-one degrees last night. We had the heater blaring in our beyond. So, yeah. yeah. So back up a little bit, Tommy. Yeah. I want to show you something pretty oh. neat here. So this is the side that does it. Okay. Um, so this here slides out very easy it hooks in boom and then this goes up there so then look at the size of this then wow. after you do that this goes there wow now look we can that. play how cool is that right wow look at that and Alice. you can keep this one here so in the morning you get your coffee from the bed there you go yeah. so that is huge I mean, how long did that take for two seconds three seconds right it's nothing so then when you're done I'm kind of right jealous. Up. That's nice. Take and that then you up. still have Hand that, that pass through for kayaks and bikes. And there we go. Let's put that one over. Wow. Oh, that one over here. Super cool. And we do like and this. And do this. And now we're done. Woohoo! Wide open. So, Look at that. Real nice because you do have the pass through. Yeah. You have the capability of having a big bed and you have the capability of having twin beds. And so that's what I said. This, this RV is made for two people. I mean, this, that's what's going to be comfortable in this RV. There's yeah. two seats up front. There's there's a uh, sleeping for two back here, really nice. There is a little bit of storage under the bed you're sitting on. Uh, we can show that. Um, there's some storage up here. There's storage here, storage yep. here. And they have big cabinets. So big cabinets. Very spacious. And they have the white cabinets like you like. Yeah, it's a nice design for sure. There we go. Yeah, so I like the white with easy the dark. To clean. Yeah, I think it kind of brightens. 
it kind of brightens it up. Um, as you walk through here, open this up. There we go. Let's do it. Wow, oh, look there. at all the room. There. And now. And now you've got the rear This is the bath. rear bathroom model. So just like in the Nova, the yeah. rear bath gives you more space in a bathroom than a side bath. Yeah. So that's why bigger guys like me, Tommy, yep. like the rear bath. You like the rear bath. <laughs> so nice big drawer that's here. That's a huge drawer. You got a nice big cabinet there. This yeah. is some of the supplies that come with the RV. Very cool. There Does no, Winnebago I'm throw those in? or They do. They, they do? do. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. nice. There is a, a vent back here, so you have a separate vent. Okay. So that way, if you're back here, you need a little fresh air, taking a shower, it kind of cycles through. You have a, va a vanity with some storage up here. Very nice. Wow, lots of space. This is a great layout. You have a sink with Look a nice big shower head. They've upgraded this recently because this used to just be a little chintzy. Yeah, yeah. A little chintzy one, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, it's almost like a kitchen one. It's nice. And then, nice, nice here. That's sweet. And then, Alicia, you have your yeah, floor mat like. custom cut in. Yeah. And then, nice big wide open. So the same, the same window coverings here. So that way you have the window coverings built in when you're when you're back here using the bathroom or taking a shower. You have privacy. When you're not, you have... And if you're uh, taking a shower and you want to dance, you have space to dance. <laughs> there you go. You can dance, sing, do sing, all of that. In the rain. Sing, <laughs> and then what do we got here? What are these? So those are for... Let's see here. Let's pull these off. And have a little experiment. Oh, look at that. So this goes... Oh, pretty fancy dancy. Uh, I think I got what is it. This is very cool. Outside the shower. Uh, like that. So there. So then hold that, Tommy. Yeah, we got it. And this goes there. So if you don't, if you want to shower outside, it comes with a curtain. And this, like this, and you can and you can have the shower outside with the. So there's an outside shower connection there. Wow. And this kind of gives you privacy here, and you can shower out here if you know i mean sometimes you're in places where you have complete privacy yeah you're in the middle of nowhere when yeah you're, but you yeah, see a little curtain maybe i don't know um yeah. but this gives you a curtain the other cool thing this gives you is you can hang your towels on it yeah if you want to keep your doors open for a little bit if you're out out outdoors hanging out and you just got done hiking or swimming you want to throw your bathing suit over this this is a nice uh rack for that as well so I yeah it. i like it i think it's in good spacious back bath here great design love how that turns into a giant bed if you want cool? to and then if you're fighting with the wife you just see stay in the twins on each side we never fight tommy t <laughs> <laughs> all right so, so once again same setup there that's setup. cool so we got the water inside the coach yeah and, and they do this for winterization reasons yeah. to, to, to kind of keep everything in the coach so that way you're not having a lot of water connections outside the coach so you're not you're not freezing those connections up they really try to make it a four seasons coach um and so you know winnebago's done a great job perfecting this wow this k4 plane you know at one point this was the top selling class b rd on the market wow uh, winnebago travato k and i'm not sure if it is today but i know at one point this was the top selling floor plan and model of RV. It makes sense. It's a really nice yeah. design. And then just to finish off this video, we've been able to compare both floor pans, the the new chassis, um, and then how about the oh, how about the tanks yeah. situation? The tanks? Yeah, we've got uh, black tank, gray tank. Uh, yeah. So they have black tanks. They have gray tanks. They got fresh tanks. We can put all that information down below. Yeah. The tank sizes and all that. So yeah. That way people can see. We'll do that, and you got the propane on there also, so very cool. Will your dogs jump hey. out the window? No, <laughs> they're good. Oh, take <laughs> a look at that. Hey. Hey. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think we've done it. We've so, covered both of these, right? So, K, yeah. G, let us know what club you're in. Yeah. Yes. Are you in the K? You like that? Or the G? I'd love to see what, what people think. Yeah, we are, we are excited to do it. Just let us know, and thank you so much for watching. Out to have fun, outdoors!